What's up everybody? Back with another video. Today we're here to talk about some of the 2019 releases that either got scrapped, pushed back, or replaced. So we've got the Air Jordan 4 Laser Noble Green. These were originally scheduled to drop January 2019, but ended up not releasing to the public. So having that said, these ended up being limited edition. Only 68 pairs were made, so only a select few were able to get them. In my opinion, these are pretty cool. You got a green laser upper. I believe the tongue is 3M. And you got that icy outsole. So I hit up SneakerCon DC a couple weeks ago, and I actually got to see this pair in hand. I was with my boy Unbreakable Kicks, and actually one of the vendors there were cool enough to let us check them out. It's a pretty solid colorway, but I'm not too sure if I would have picked those up if they did release. When we first got information on these, I hit up my boy Jays Are Dead, he did a Photoshop, and this is how we expected them to look. Then again, mock-ups aren't always going to be accurate. It's mainly a prediction of what we expect them to look like. So here's a question I have for y'all. If these would have released, would they have sat on shelves or would they have sold out? Let me know in the comment section below. Next is the Air Jordan 6 Acid Wash. Originally scheduled to drop in January 2019, we never got any first looks, we never got a release date, so I'm assuming that these were scrapped and replaced with the pair that we're getting in December, which is the Wash Denim colorway. Now House of Heat did a mock-up on these based off the colorway, and these look pretty good. So there may be a sample of these somewhere, I'm not too sure, but as far as I know, these are not releasing. All right, here we got one of the Do The Right Thing Air Jordan 4 colorways. Now these were originally scheduled to drop in April 2019, but we never got a first look or release date on these. Now the colorway was inspired by Sal's Pizza, which was featured in the movie, and the colors they were going to use were the same colors that were on the pizza box. Now Pictured is a Photoshop that I did based off the colorway, and all I'm saying is if they released it like this, it would have been a hit. It would have been a hit. Now, as of now, we don't have any further release info and I'm kind of disappointed about it. I was really, really, really looking forward to how this colorway would have turned out. All right, now the funny part is, Replica Factories ended up using my Photoshop and making them actual shoes. I mean, I don't know. The colorway just looks really, really good on a Jordan 4. Following the white pair, we also have a black pair. These were also set to drop around the same time, which makes me think that these were going to be a pack. So then I did another Photoshop and just reversed the colors. My guess for these was a black upper, red accents, green sock liner, green and black on the midsole, and a red and black outsole. <laughs> All right, now these were also made into replicas as well. And the funny thing is, the other week when I was at SneakerCon, walking there, I saw somebody wearing these. Again, not a bad colorway, only a prediction of what I expected them to look like. And if they release something similar to these, I would be happy. So all in all, no release info for these, no first looks, so therefore I have no information. But if anything does come up for these, I will definitely let you guys know. All right, moving along. Here we got the Women's Air Jordan 11 Low and White, Black, and Orange Trance. These were originally set to drop in May of 2019, but something happened. A month or two before the release, I get word that the colorway was actually changed. These had the same exact style code as the pair that released. So the pair that actually ended up releasing was the Pink Snakeskin 11 Low. Now sometimes this does happen. We get information super, super early that sometimes the colorway will actually change just a bit. I always like to make sure that my information is accurate, so I made sure I updated you guys. Now this colorway would have been pretty cool, but I understand where Jordan brand was coming from because this year they were going for the snake skin design on the Jordan 11 lows, which makes perfect sense. Making our way into fall 2019, we got the Air Jordan 3 Animal Pack. Now we were actually still expecting these pairs to release. The first colorway was black, sale, gum light brown and multicolor. Now, if you pay close attention to my Instagram story, I actually posted a picture of these. These are more than likely samples, but we can expect the release version to look like this. There's different animal prints throughout the shoe, pony hair on the upper, and it looks like we're getting gum bottoms. The next pair that we have is the black dark mocha 
rope, and multicolored. Now we actually do have an update on these. They're now expected to drop during spring of 2020, and we do have a more accurate Photoshop. You can expect the release to look like this. And shout out to Sneaker Files because we collabed on this mock-up. And uh, there's definitely a lot going on with this shoe. As far as the retail price, I'm not too sure. You can expect it to be pretty high. So keep it locked for first look images and a release date. Another shoe that was scheduled for fall was the Air Jordan 12 Michigan. Now I spoke briefly about these in my other video. So here we have another Photoshop. The colorway was white, yellow, metallic gold, and midnight navy. Now, as we know, fall 2019 is already packed with releases. So if these were still set to drop, I'm not too sure where they would squeeze them in. But I can say this colorway definitely had some potential. Another shoe that was expected to drop holiday 2019 was the Air Jordan 4, Faded Spruce, Ocean Cube, Habanero Red, and Black. Now, I believe that this was supposed to be a winterized shoe. We first got info on these at the beginning of the year. We don't have any release info or any first looks, but there is a winterized Jordan 4 coming out in the beginning of December, which is the Loyal Blue pair. So I'm guessing that they replaced these with that pair. So looking back on this colorway, the colors actually seem kind of wild. And yes, I was pretty interested to see how the shoe would have turned out. But as of right now, I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything about these. So they may have been scrapped. But I will settle for the Loyal Blue pair. Just like last year, they released a winterized Jordan 12. But this year, they're releasing a winterized Jordan 4. It would be pretty interesting to see what a winterized Jordan 11 would look like. So these were both rumored to drop this year. But I don't think Jordan Brand would see a need for that. Only because they just released the bread colorway. And they're including both of these colorways on the What The Jordan 4. As much as we would like to see these both return with Nike Air, the chances of that are very, very slim. As I said, these were both rumored. We never got a style code for either of them, so they were never 100% confirmed. I'm very, very happy that the Bread 4 is actually released this year. After all of the rumors every single year saying that they would return, they finally did. Rumors always get passed around, but unless we get a style code, nothing is set in stone. Both of these colorways will make a return sometime in the future, but no time soon. Can't forget about these, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Yellow Toe. So I actually remember these surfacing last year in November. So there was tons and tons of confusion as far as these go. Now, I was told a Yellow Toe Jordan 1 would release in 2019. And as soon as these surfaced, I insisted that this was the shoe that they were referring to. I immediately hit up my people, sent them the style code that this Jordan 1 had, and nothing came up. Now, this is odd because usually when we get a style code, we can find the colorway, the release info, and all that. But these, for some reason, did not have any of that. This shoe is actually close to the Air Jordan 1 Shine Down. And since this shoe wasn't an official collab with them, I was doubting that they were going to release. So around May or June of this year, I get word that they're releasing, but as mids. Now I'm not too sure if the high OG was intended to see a release, but the mids will have to do. Now I'm still pretty disappointed that these didn't see a release this year. I was also told that they were supposed to be a quick strike, but I guess not. So things will change all the time. I just make sure that I keep you guys updated. Okay, okay. The shoe everybody wants answers for. The Air Jordan 1 Bread. So earlier this year, they were rumored to drop on Black Friday. And this time around, they were expected to drop in true OG form. Meaning to come with the same exact shape and height as the 1985s. So the thing that got everybody confused was that there was a colorway dropping on Black Friday, black, gym red, and white. Now, we insisted that these were going to be the breads, but that's not how it turned out. It ended up being a completely different shoe. But the good news is that we can expect those to drop next year, a part of the New Beginnings Air Jordan 1 line. Thanks to Soul Heat on Feet, we actually have two different style codes so far. One of those colorways is Varsity Red, White, and Black. And the other is Varsity Red, Varsity Red, Summit White, and Black. 
They both have different style codes and are expected to drop around the same time. Now I will get into covering 2020 releases in the next video. As far as I know, there's even more New Beginnings colorways to come out. There's tons and tons of Jordan 1 Zoom Air colorways. We got more Jordan 3s, we got more Jordan 6s, we got more 9s, so the video is going to be packed. Thank you for watching, thank you for all of the support. Let me know in the comment section below which shoe you would have liked to see released this year. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button below, turn on post notifications, never miss an upload, and I will see you guys in the next video.